It's cause What's like, going on, guys? Well, okay, dude. All right, my bad, dude. Man, <laughs> you're sorry. No countdown or nothing. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the first official Kicking with Kyle episode of this first podcast. Today, we have our first special guest. We have Maddie Harris, his girlfriend. And we're going to be going over questions. <laughs> this one's probably going up a little later. We tried to record yesterday. My computer crashed twice on me, so. That was awful. It was terrible. We kind of recorded, crashed, said, all right, let's record again. And then. So. I'm going to get right into a couple questions, um, but first, actually, Maddie, if you want to introduce yourself, who are you? I, I'm Maddie. I'm Ryan's girlfriend, <laughs> co-owner of Bubba Lifts. Mm-hmm. Um, co-owner. Co-owner. Like and uh, how did you guys meet? Start with that. Yeah, Planet Fitness. You were my boss, actually, too. Yep. <laughs> the goat spot. Yep. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Let's see. So, me and Ryan were trying to get some ideas yesterday, kind of what to talk about. So, no, we know you're a gym rat, and Ryan's not, apparently. <laughs> not anymore, um, no. Apparently not. Oh. So, what kind of keeps you going? What's your routine right now, and what are you doing? So, right now, I'm actually starting my first bulk, which is awful and very hard. Um, so, I'm pretty Easy. much... You gotta just dirty bulk, I'm telling you. It's like, mentally, it sucks. Like, just watching yourself change, but like in the gym, it's awesome. Like, you can lift a lot of weight. Do you feel like, do you feel stronger? I definitely feel stronger, but I feel like it's different for girls because like you look at yourself and you're getting a little puffy in some places. It's just, it's weird to look at if like you've never done that before. And that's like crazy to me because like, I never think about it like, girls think how men think in the gym. Powerlifting wise, like oh yeah, we're getting our lifts are getting crazy good. We're moving up in weight, but feel like shit. So, is it is it the same for you as well? Yeah, like I even like my like compound lifts. Like I'm starting to lift a lot more, and it's even like my upper body. Like I'm starting to kind of go up in weight, but it's like it's just weird walking into the gym and like being like oh my god, like I just look different than I usually see myself, and it like kind of happens over time, and it's it's just a weird change. It's- is it in a good way or a bad way? It's good because I know that eventually, you know, like that cut's going to come and it's all going to be worth it. But this weird little winter period's going to gonna kill me. Hibernation. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ryan, what about you, man? I know we, we tried to talk about it yesterday and then. I know. I don't even remember what we talked about, but I mean, I'm which is still good, which is good. I'm still barely going to the gym. Um not really like bulking or cutting i'm just kind of going through life right now uh pretty much doing nothing <laughs> <laughs> i've been struggling lately i really have i I try to go like i plan to go and then i just don't go but i need to get back into it really badly um we were talking a little bit yesterday about mental health you asked me about. true so you want kind of want to just go through that a little bit uh, you asked me personally and i first thing the I did ashwagandha bring on, bring on the ashwagandha and all like the vitamins I take, and make sure I'm getting enough sleep. But telling me like, oh, like you have you have people to talk to, you have Maddie to talk to, like to not talk mm-hmm. to. And I'm chilling, bro. I've been feeling good and kind of like putting sleep on gym, sleep and gym like priorities. And I was saying that yesterday how I kind of keep the gym as like my top of the list, even overwork because it just keeps my so. What about you? Like you were talking about a little. Yeah, uh, I mean, I like I said yesterday. I know they haven't, but I feel like I've been like it's weird for me because usually when I'm not in the gym, it's because I'm like depressed. But I really haven't been like depressed recently. I've still been feeling fine, like mentally. But I feel like, like if I was going to the gym, I would be in a better mental state. Like I, I have bad days here and there, but nothing crazy. But I just feel like if I was active and going to the gym more those wouldn't happen because at the time i was like lifting every day feeling good i was like i was the happiest i've ever been but you know you gotta just get through the days and 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 keep moving forward do you feel um energized that you're not going to the gym do you feel better when you were going to the gym like how are your energy level Uh, oh i felt way better when i was going to the gym like physically mentally everything uh it's just like a motivation thing right now i think like i i still have okay energy right now like i 
I mean, I get up, I go to work, go through the day. Like, I'm not like, I'm not like sitting at work sad or tired or whatever. Like, it, it's still okay, which is, I think it's just something I'm not used to because, like I said before, it was like, no gym was depressed, the gym was happy. But now it's kind of like, I'm, I'm not really working out, but I'm still like good mentally. So like it's almost like that's why I don't really care to go to the gym, I guess, because I kind of used that. That the gym's like therapy for people that don't go to therapy, right? Like that's kind. I feel like that's how a lot of people look at it. They use the gym as something to like cope, and I've like I don't need it right now. I feel like cause that's kind of what it is. But I'm tr- I really need to go. <laughs> I think you have a story. I need, yeah, I need I, to go for my health, not for, like, my my mental health. Like, I need to go for my physical health, which I in the past, I mean, I guess that's why I started going, but it helped my mental health. So it's, like, I'm, in, I'm at, like, a weird spot. I don't know. That's fair. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit. I think as we get closer to summer, I think you'll start, start going more. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's start. With, I want to say congratulations. Ryan told me yesterday you can you uh, graduated. I did. I keep forgetting. Yeah, me too. It's so anticlimactic. <laughs> she literally. I was at work and she texted me and she goes, "I just graduated college." Yeah. And I was like, "What?" <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Um, and so just tell everybody what you were in, what you taken in school, and. So I was a criminal justice major. Um, I swapped all throughout my college career between psych. Um, exercise science, criminal justice, like going back and forth. Um, I finally actually liked criminal justice. So I was like, I'm just going to stick with that. Um, In terms of like a career, not exactly sure. Going to play it by ear, see what I can get into. There's so many different things that you can do in criminal justice. So that's a huge one. Yeah, you have it now. You have it. I don't know what your options like. How I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, exactly. It's on. Uh, Ryan was telling me yesterday also that you guys have been watching Marvel movies. Yeah. Oh my god, that's all I can like think about at work. That's all we've too. watched. Like, <laughs> Why? The, the past what like week, <laughs> two weeks? It's all every night we've had a Marvel movie. Yeah. On. So you watched? I remember you, Ryan was telling me you watched Venom, mm-hmm. and I was telling him how the second one. Shit. Yeah, we I've heard that. Yeah. So you definitely watch that if you get the chance. And tell Ryan. But uh. That's dope, do you, Ryan. Do you want to go over any, any questions from yesterday? And um, I mean, the, I feel like the most important one was the mental health one. Uh, that that was like the only one that I really brought up that I thought was worth it. But I mean, we could talk about we talked about the first recording yesterday. We talked about like the first podcast. Um, Maddie actually, I I came downstairs one day and she was watching it. Yeah, I was. Um, so I I guess I guess <laughs> now that we have someone from our audience, we can ask like, did you actually truly enjoy it? Because I know you actually watch podcasts or listen to podcasts at least, like at the gym a lot. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so I I was saying I'm not really a podcast person, and even though like when you were watching it, I started kind of sitting there listening to it, watching it with you, and I was actually like interested. So I guess since you know podcasts a little bit, um, did you like it? And I guess like if you have any tips, I know I know you said I was I sounded very negative at the beginning. In the be- told beginning, me. you were very negative. <laughs> Everything was like fuck this, fuck that. No, but I actually that's, that's I, how we are. That's, that's how, how we are. I, I, said, I literally said that I was like that's just how I am. I know, but no, I I really liked it. I think it was a really good flow. Like you guys kind of like fed off each other and like bing bong like stuff like that bing bong <laughs> fuck your life but no it was very like enjoyable to listen to like it didn't feel like the 45 minutes it felt very quick it was it was good i liked it and i think it's, it's also better and who knows i might be like uh, biased yeah. but we kind of all know each other yeah and it's kind of fun it's to see to hear stories especially it mm-hmm. is and it's kind of like especially with the pf stuff we know all about uh, it. So oh my god it's, it's fuck bad. you richard childs yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> I, I, I don't. It was a mess. But I talked about the snow yesterday. How that mm-hmm. was kind of annoying. Shoveled, and I gave a little bit of a story about how my dad he used to plow, and I gave him. I came in from work yesterday. And I, was, I had to shovel the drive. <laughs> yeah, I worked all day, and now I got that's how it works. I'm ready to grow up. Same. <laughs> I, I uh, got in the house and I was, mom was on the couch. 
how the hell did I go and plow for a certain amount of hours or whatever? And I remember Corey popped in my head, told me this a few how he was working for 48 hours straight. It was that year we got like the uh, blizzards, like four blizzards in a row, and it was crazy. And he ended up like the 40th hour, 48th hour, giant truck driving down this road, and he stopped for like a half hour because he saw 10 polar bears cross the street. He was hallucinating. Like, oh my god, <laughs> hallucinating! Like, and I was like, "Is he on DMT or is he, is he okay?" I, I, I really just, I think I'm gonna take the rest of this yesterday. I firmly believe he actually saw them, and just nobody believes him. No one's gonna I, believe him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sticking okay. with that one. I believe I, him. I mean, dude, there's there's stories I've heard from uh, other people about how like DMT will will make you pretty much see your whole life. In- seconds yep but it's I like you think you've been that. there and it, yeah i'm like i'm all set let's just i already it lived it you know what like, i'm saying i already lived it i don't need to see it again i've heard um, that's like the one drug if you're gonna do any kind of hard drug that's like the one you should take like it opens your mind to you like should take the, it yeah that's like the one that will opens. change your life i'm not yeah. a big I, I think i'm good on hallucinating you know what i mean i don't fuck I just, with that you think it happens when you die like you think you see it your whole life yes yes I can tell a story. I can tell a story if you want me to. Go ahead. Let me see. All right. So my anyone that doesn't know us, my dad passed away in 2012. Uh, Kyle's the only one here with two parents, but um, (laughs) 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 and it gets it gets very uncomfortable when we make jokes. So I'm gonna do my best not to. But uh, one we were he he got sent home like in like a hospice bed. So he basically was in a, a different bed. He was they pretty much told us he was dying. Um, so he just came home to spend his last like couple days or weeks, depending. He only lasted like a couple days, but uh, they they didn't give us an exact timeline. But sent him home to spend spend time with his family, you know, before he passed away. Um, and one day we I w- we put his little hospice bed right next to my my their bed upstairs in their in the master bedroom, and I was just sitting on the on the master bed with my dad while he was just laying in the hospice bed. And I actually have two stories out of this. And so one he um randomly like looked at me and said good game bud and i was like what the fuck are you talking about you know what i mean like i I was like but he went to all my football games and he always did the like first down markers and like helped with the field and stuff so like looking back i didn't realize it at the time but looking back on it i feel like he was like seeing that happen in his head because like he passed away like two nights later so it was almost like his life was slowly going through his head um and then I guess rolling off that, I'll roll into another story and I can, I'll ask a question based off this, but um, this one's kind of a little scary to me because I'm not a very religious person. And uh, this is kind of the thing. Once my mom told me that this happened, like that kind of made me like believe something is there. Uh, I don't want to get too like religious on here because ev- I, everyone has their, their beliefs and religion's one of those things that like, in my opinion, no one truly knows until you get there so you don't really know until you die that's what i've always believed um but he was i guess looking around his bed the night before he passed away and he was talking to people around his bed they weren't actually there so my mom was kind of like freaking out a little bit she's like what's going on who the hell are you talking to but they say when when someone's kind of at their the end you kind of just let them talk you don't like you don't like be like no one's there you don't tell like i was Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, I didn't just play a game because it'll confuse them and, like, kind of mess up their timeline. So you kind of just let them talk and go through the motions. But he was like, he called, like, some lady a bitch, like, and said he didn't want to leave, like, the literally a half an hour before you passed away. So, like, that didn't, that made me kind of believe. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, bro. And I didn't know that until, like, two years ago. And my, he passed away in 2012 when I was, I was 12 years old. So, I mean, Shit's crazy. I don't know. I, I ever since I've been told that I've like I've been like, OK, yeah, I kind of believe. But I still I still really it's one of those things that I still believe you don't know until you get there. Uh, and I'm never going to like be a hardcore like religious person. You know what I mean? Do you so are you asking me? About it? Like, OK, well, one, I was telling you were asking about um, if your life actually flashes before you, your eyes. So, yes, I believe that. And then I guess another one is. I mean, we don't have to get like religious, but I mean, like, do you have any like strong beliefs about that stuff? I think there's too much, much evidence, like that. That there's too many stories 
about another life. Obviously. Yeah. It's, I mean, once you die, you die. Mm -hmm. You die. But I think it's the beliefs that you believe while you're here getting you through. True, true. Like, to, to make it your, like, process or, like, an easier life. And I'm not huge, like, religious. I've always been interested in it, but never dive into it. So that's kind of, like, one of the Because I've, I've gone to church and want to make it, like... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a... I don't know. If you really, get, like, dive into it, it's kind of cool. Think about it. So... I don't know. Religion's different, and I, I believe that yeah, there's definitely. Like... You do you, so. You're you think there's an afterlife? You don't think you get like uh, like born again, like into a bird? Yeah, or, or another person. You never know. And no one would ever know. What do you think? I believe in afterlife. I believe in reincarnation. I believe all the spiritual shit. I. I have ghost stories. Like, I believe in all that. There is nothing. She lives in a haunted house. Yeah. There's nothing in this world that, like, could shock my mind at this point. Like, I anything still, is possible. I still don't believe. It's, this is really weird because she's told me, like, the ghost stories from her, the house she lived in that was haunted. And I, I like, be I believe them, but I don't believe in ghosts. So it doesn't really make sense. I, like, I go to mediums and stuff, too. So, True. like, all of that stuff, like, I, since I was little, like, everything has always just made sense to me. Like, I can't explain it, and there's nothing that I can be like, oh, that's why this happens, but it's all just, I'm like, yep, I accept that. That's totally 100%. Yeah, it makes sense. Nutrition. I know we talked about the gym. Nutrition. What are you doing, Maddie? Like, what are you eating? I know you're bulking. You have to be in a calorie surface. Bulk. So yep. what are you eating? Are you so, Getting actually, yesterday, I kind of came to the conclusion, I feel like I have some kind of food intolerance. There is something that's not making me feel my best. I don't know if it's dairy, gluten, whatever. So I'm seeing a, an allergist, hopefully this week. Um, but yeah, right now, I'm still just kind of eating as normal. Um, just trying to hit my macros. I eat a lot of oats, cereal, protein, all that shit. How many calories are you eating in the bulk? 2,500 right now. Um, I start, yeah. Kyle's eating like Hell 1,200. Yeah. Kyle eats as much I know, as a oh man. <laughs> I'm, eating, I'm eating 1,900 right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, now, that's I, crazy. You should be eating 3K, Kyle. For most of my life, for most of my life, I was eating like 1,500, 1,600, and I was like, why can't I lose weight? Why can't I bulk? Like, there's nothing that was changing. And so finally, actually, like a few months ago, I finally was like, whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat what my body needs. I'm gonna follow a nutrition calculator, macro calculator. I'm just gonna do it. And it, those are pretty accurate. Those are right. I really did need more food my whole life. I just wasn't oh, doing it. I feel it. like that's a very um, common thing for people just starting. Yeah. Is they, no one, you don't eat enough when you're just starting. Everyone does it. Like, I'm, I'm not a uh, calorie tracking, macro tracking kind of person. I just kind of wing it. Yeah. But even I know when I'm not eating enough. And I yeah. feel like that's the, the first step for anyone because you'll think you're eating enough to either gain half a pound a week or, or maintain and you'll just you'll be eating as much as an infant. And it's just not people don't realize that because they don't look into it. You see this stuff online that like all these like fast, quick ways to lose 10 pounds. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you do that, the second you stop, you're gaining back 20. It doesn't work. But um, actually, I want to say. Fatty's one of the people that I don't see with a fitness page that knows what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, to a point where you could do it as a living if you wanted to. You're in the gym okay. every day. So, I mean, get on get on the page and you'll blow up. I'm telling you. Every time I see like, Kyle, he tells me to, to get Maddie on, on our <laughs> fitness page more so we can get more followers. And I feel like it's low-key just him, like, hitting on her, but I'm okay with no, it. No, it's not. I'm, I'm being sick. Because I would do the same if I had a girlfriend, bro. I'd be like, yo, front page. Like, right. it's not my fitness page anymore. So, like, I would do that. Hey. I tried. Uh, see, like, when we first started, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Like, I'll try it. But you then, recorded way more than me at the beginning. I did. I would record, like, really just different lifts I did. But... I I record off my little phone that I can't get good angles for anything, so it's just kind of weird sometimes. I can do like deadlifts maybe. I try to do like a split squat, and it's just a weird upwards angle. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of people in the gym sometimes when I go, and I feel kind of weird like trying to 
maneuver in front of it's, them. I hate it when it's busy. Oh, it's so it's I don't so record awkward. If it's busy. I just feel I feel like I'm in the way. Yeah. That's why yeah, I, exactly. I that's why I like to do it at home. Like half the time I only record when I'm here. Why don't you do that, Maddie? She doesn't like working out here. I I I can't work out at home. And she, your she gym squat. equipment is just the heights on it is just a little bit too off for yeah, me. Like she's like just too short yeah. to like use half the stuff like for like hip thrusts or or like um box squats stuff yeah. like that. Everything's just a little bit too tall for me and so I don't get like a really like good in-depth workout. Fair. I mean, are you Kyle site Kyle has worked out here? Did you, to- you hip thrust? <laughs> no, he didn't. We didn't hip thrust. Yo, we sh- I never hip thrust him. Really? I want. I want. Start. I think you should like teach me for a video. I'll do you it. Know what I mean, start like with that, the booty builder at Club X. No, we're that going straight to the me. barbell. I'm going. <laughs> I I ain't using no booty builder. There's one guy at Club X before that was like, "Can you teach me how to hip thrust?" And I was like, "Did you punch him?" I don't think so. <laughs> Where's where was Ryan? Like <laughs> probably, not, the gym. probably not at the fucking yeah. gym. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Fitness wise and nutrition, a lot of people eat enough when they first start. But then you got the people that are up there, they eat everything in sight. And yeah. I was talking about this yeah. with a friend last night. He's talking about like, the fat one. Oh. <laughs> she said me, and I said he's talking about the fat one. I, um, <laughs> I was talking to him about how we, we, we used to power lift, and like, we, we left a gym that was just full of ass. Or they they fucked up and we'll, we'll never step foot. I think I told you this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, dudes would literally eat like we did this for the meat when we had it. We used to eat gummy bears in between uh, sets and stuff. <laughs> but like I'm talking about, they would go, "Hey, I'm," and this is what they, this is the excuse every time. Yo, know, carving up. For They'd have like twenty donuts and <laughs> like, like I, ice do, cream. I do that as a joke. Yeah. If we get no, takeout, they were like, serious. if we get like, takeout, I'll get like a pizza or something, and I'll be like, "It's carbs for the workout tomorrow." I'm not going to the gym the next day. Like I already know I'm not. I just say it. Like you are those carbs gonna make you feel like shit in the morning? No, you'll feel and so good. I never. Oh, do. No. I I, Dude, I, last I, week, last was it last week we went on Sunday? Oh, to breakfast. Yeah. So oh last week God. we got takeout Saturday night, and then we went to breakfast. Sunday morning, and then went to the gym. My squats were moving. I was confident I could have squatted at 315 that day, like, easily. But I was like, I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> like, I'm going to slow it down. But I promise you it's from the carbs. It's ridiculous. And I had the worst workout ever. You did. Like, I was about to throw up every single... Ugh. Wait, workouts? Yes, I eat... You eat every time. Yeah, I... I feel weird if I don't. I feel like I'm going to throw up if I eat too much and if I don't eat enough. So I eat like a English muffin and peanut butter or like a protein bar or something before I go. Mine depends on like what time I'm working out really. If I if I get up and go to the gym, I don't eat because it's too early. I haven't done that in like a month. So usually the only time I go now is like Sundays around noon. And usually I eat before that. <laughs> That's the only time I work out every fucking week. And I know Ryan was, you, you weren't, you're not taking pre-workout, right? I uh, I take non stim when I work when I work out. So explain like what non stim. So there's two, there's two technically there's like three types of pre workout. There's stim uh, and non stim. Those are like the two main ones that people talk about because typically your stim has beta alanine in it. Um, but if you want to, you can technically break it into three. There's stim with beta alanine. For anyone that doesn't know, beta alanine is uh, basically like a chemical that like we're all pretty much allergic to and that's why if you ever take pre-workout and you get that like tingly feeling with the blood coming to your surface that's the one you take yeah she likes the feeling i can't stand it i haven't taken well we my mom got these drinks that we tried that had beta alanine in them but um i don't i don't haven't bought a pre-workout with beta alanine in months because i can't stand it uh and then you got stim that has caffeine and no beta alanine and then they, they're stim free which i usually take because i usually drink a coffee when i get up uh, and I try to cut back. I like a year ago, I started trying to cut back on caffeine because I was having like literally a gram of caffeine a day. Whoa! Which is yeah, like easily a gram, um, which was not good. So I take stim free. It's basically just a pump product. Basically, just um, brings blood, moves blood quicker, helps you get a bigger pump. It just feels good. Um, yeah, I take that every time. And I, I 
I try. I take creatine when I work out, which has zero. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, it, it doesn't have any immediate effects, so you don't have to take it with pre. But it's just easy to take it with pre. Um, but it's really not benefiting me at the moment because I'm not going five times a week, so I don't take it that often. But I need once I, if I was going, it would be beneficial to take it with my pre. And I was gonna ask Maddie, do you, you work out? And what do you? I use, I think it's called Lit. It's the, remember the Lit AF one? Yeah, that shit is yeah. awesome. Oh, it's I from Walmart, too. Yeah, they have it at yeah. Walmart. Yeah, that's actually, the drinks that your mom got. Yep. But I love it. I love that feeling of, like, the itch, because I feel like I need to work it off. So I'll just, like, lift harder. Like, I'll start my workout immediately. I don't sit in my car anymore. Love it. Brian told me to bump the heat. Yep. Drive into the gym with the workout. You show up to I the go, gym with a pump. Yeah, I go right from work to <laughs> hey, the gym. I'm so. not kidding. You and your pumps. Pump the, the what it's is the crazy. what what was what's the main reason to work out? Long term is to build muscle. Short term is to feel good about yourself and have a nice pump. And you don't do either, so hey. That's why I turn the heat on. <laughs> I lay. You I, I put on gym, three sweatshirts bro. and I lay in bed until I sweat. I get out, take my shirt off, fat pump. I, you got traps of death but for no reason. Yeah, I don't know where they came from. The, yeah. the, the years of carpentry, bro. You're not wrong. <laughs> putting up lbls um, and shit dude the trades so most of you know that i was in the electrical trade ryan was in carpentry for a little bit um fuck them fuck, fuck them all fuck i them thought all. you were going I back just, no i i didn't get you decided you know, not funny. to i'm i'm getting a raise from the, where i work now and it's almost what i was asking for to go back to the really like that's ridiculous to do to check the pool temp yep to go <laughs> So yeah, this is what I'm saying. All right, this is what I've been saying this since I left. People, a lot of people will say, but the money's good. Hmm. You can find a job making the same money. Like, I don't, okay, this is how I look at it. The only thing is, right, you'll find a job making the same beginner money at another place, but you would grow, your paycheck would grow quicker in the trades and in the trades, you always get overtime and all that extra shit where at most other jobs you don't. But if you're looking just at that starting pay in your brain as, oh, I, I need that pay, you can find a job not in the trades. I I know it because I've done it multiple times now. But I yeah. just feel like that is a very big thing that people are stuck on that are in the trades. They always say, oh, but the money, I'm not going to find the money. You can't, you can, trust me, you can find the money somewhere else. You just got to stick with it. You know what's crazy? All these like uh, trades people, they'll go work their 40, 50, 60 hour weeks and they won't do anything else. They come home. They'll drink. They'll drink, beat their wife, and like literally, like <laughs> they'll beat their wife. That's like the joke me and my me and my friends say all the time. Yeah, me but, too. <laughs> but they don't have like I I like doing this stuff for like a, it's a hobby, but it could become a side hustle in the future. I I used you know how I used to flip things like products. And stuff. Mm -hmm. I like doing that stuff. It keeps me like sane almost instead of going to work for someone I hate just for the. Tea. Yep. The people who say oh great money or all these like swear to god it's always like these <laughs> these moms that like literally don't have a clue no offense to anybody else you're not there. wrong but it's like it's, it's it's these people in general who don't have a clue raised last night on a it's just such, such a meme to us now like, yeah me too it, I, it's just a joke um let's say talk about some you have any uh, other topics or anything off of um i mean we kind of touched on it but i was gonna ask you like your with because we kyle brought up college how you graduated college and i always make the joke that she's gonna be a cop a hot cop oh, yeah. she doesn't actually want to be a cop but i actually i don't even know if you do know but what do you want to do with that like degree i don't have any set plans right now like the more i've been kind of looking into it i've been enjoying like victimology type stuff so like helping victims obviously um i like the courts like prosecution um pretty much anything i do that's not a cop or something that i'm gonna <laughs> have to work into for years i'm gonna have to go to school for again uh -huh. like a lot of them require a master's like it's another two to four more years of college um Gross. i think right now i just i don't really want to do anything i don't want to have to get into a career right now and then say we leave and I have to either start again or try to go find something better. Like, mm -hmm. 
I feel like I'm good where, where I'm at right now. Like it's not it's not great, but it's not super stressful. So I feel like that for me right now is like the best option. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Good answer because oh, by the time people like in society right now, and it's time, yeah. I feel like I think that way, but I, I know it's too. not true. Like I'm only 22. Like I have so much time, but I'm like I need to find a career I right now. I'm I need old. to make a lot of yeah. money right now, but it's not true at all. And I was talking to a friend. I went to the gym with. I he's in college. I I could do it all over again. He's in IT. He's like, if I could do it all over again, I I would just I wouldn't go to college. I would get all the courses on. I, I would literally like. Get them all done. Put them. Around. Everyone's looking for people right now, and you don't need this. this. Yeah. No, you don't. You ever um, thought about college, Kyle? Uh hundred percent. I think I part of me wants to, part of me doesn't, because I don't know. I don't want to be one of those people that goes to it and then like, damn, I just spent all this money, all this. What's that happened to me? And this we were talking about with the with electrical, like I'm thankful kinda I went to trade school to realize that electrical and carpentry and all that shit's like this. Instead of me going to the public school and damn, I'm gonna be an electrician when I graduate. Really hate it. Yeah. So be you don't even get a feel for it. Right, exactly. So uh, I'm glad that happened and I What about you? Me? Yeah. Like in life or like with college? <laughs> yeah. Did you debate going? I know you went to like, actually, I'll let you tell you a story. All right. Uh, so I went, I went to college for a semester. So like six months, not even. And uh, I passed everything very easily. I didn't even have to take finals in like half my classes. And I just didn't go back. I, I hate a classroom. Uh, I have debated, honestly, since I left, I've debated like doing online just to get something. But it's also, like, I don't even know what I want to do, uh, like, in general. Like, for example, lately, I've been thinking about getting my uh, personal training cert- certificate. I've thought about that, like, four times, but I think this time I'm actually kind of going to do it. Um, which, for that, you don't need college for. But if I were to go back to college, I think I would do some type of, um, like, sports science, exercise science. But if I did that, I would just do it online. Like, I feel like... I can't, I'm at a point now where I can't drop everything and go to college. Like, I, I need to work. I need to work full-time. I need to have money. So I think I would just do it, like, online, part-time, take my time with it because I don't need it. Like, it's not like, like, some people go to college because they need the degree to get the job, right? I I don't know. I don't really care that much about, there's, there's nothing I want to do in life right now that's like, oh, I need a degree for it. So I'm not that stressed about it. But I think if I were to do college again, I'd do it online at my own rate, at my own speed, uh, take my time and do it in something in like the sports science field. I don't have a exact reasoning for that. I just that stuff interests me. And I'm, I kind of like if something interests me, I'll go like read about it on my own time. I'm kind of weird like that. Like I, I like to just know I like she'll tell I know so much random shit that has zero value to anybody else in the world, yep. but I know it, and it makes me happy that I know <laughs> it. So, I don't know. I feel like you would be able to... Yeah, I feel like colleges, and I don't know if this is true, Maddie, you might know, like, do they have something where you can get their different things? And is there, like, a limit during a semester? Is there, like, a cutoff? To- so... For my school, at least, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same everywhere. By your junior year of college, you have to have a major. And in that time, you can pick any of the classes you want. So that's really what I did. Like, I did psych classes. I did exercise science classes. um, I did criminal justice classes before I picked my major. You have, I think, like two weeks to change a class. If you're in it in the beginning of the semester and you hate it, you can drop it and switch to another one. Um, but you do have time. You don't have to go into college with an exact idea of what you want to do. Cause I didn't, and I still somehow made it. I was a semester late, but I did it. Um, 
but yeah, you get credits for all the classes you do. So you need really random credits sometimes, especially depending on your major. She, she took a hiking class over the yeah. summer. Oh, yeah, you would tell me that. was that. really, really random. She, but... Her final was to go on a hike. <laughs> yeah, it was easy. <laughs> I got my credits. I did it. It's so sick, though. But yeah, you don't have to know what you want to do. You can use those random classes. Like, I used all my exercise science classes just towards graduating. Like, those were the random classes I needed, and I did it. And it was fun while it lasted, but I hated that major yeah cool um i don't mean to cut this short but i don't want it to stop anymore and <laughs> keep the, keep the, uh, the, if you have anything you guys want to leave in the comments leave them and we'll talk about it next time i do want to get some more guests on here maddie if you know any other people ryan we can bring maddie back in a couple weeks too. <laughs> yeah for sure and get more topics and i just want to say thank you guys for coming on in the second episode the first official kick Mm-hmm. Um, kicking yeah, it with guys, Kyle. <laughs> it's not kicking it. It's kicking we it. are kicking, kicking with Kyle. Kicking it, yeah, kicking it. Oh with yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe. Talk to you guys. Peace.